This is State Farm Agent Jason Hardy coming to you today with the El Dorado Wildcat, Jason Hardy State Farm Player of the Week, Tamade White. Tamade, congratulations for being named Jason Hardy State Farm Player of the Week. Always start with this question. How does it feel for your coaches to, to recognize you as Player of the Week? Feels great. Feels great. Okay. All right. So, defensive tackle, senior year. Um Coach gave me some stats earlier. The last week against Catholic, you had six tackles, two and a half sacks, and two tackles for loss. That that from from coming from the defensive tackle spot, man. That's I mean, usually you think about sacks, you think about linebackers getting in on stunts or the defensive end coming around off the edge. Defensive tackle, man. That's you're you're having to bust through the middle. Tell that's me a little true. bit about that. Tell me tell me how how you managed to to get through. Take your, I mean, you're supposed to be just taking on blockers, man. What's going on? How are you getting sacks? Coach Zay and Coach Abels. Great scheme. All right. Great scheme. Great scheme. And you just execute, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> Love to hear that. So tell me tell me a little bit about – you're a senior this year. Tell me a little bit about your journey. Um, talk, talk to me about where you started um, with high school football to get you to this spot as a senior. Working first year, first year I wasn't starting. Second year, wasn't starting. I had to work. Sophomore, I mean not sophomore, junior and senior. That's when I really got the recognition that I got. Okay, all right. Now you're also. You, I'm looking at you're not a small guy. <laughs> tell me, tell me, tell me about this this development, physical development. Have you always been a bigger guy, or has that just happened recently? Or tell me a little bit about that. My mama said I always been a big baby. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> <laughs> mama and mamas don't lie. <laughs> Coach, let me get Coach Hill to jump in here a little bit. Coach, tell me about tell me about the development of of Tamade as as your starting defensive tackle. Yeah, you know I got I get here here March of, of twenty twenty three I guess it was and you know Tamade he he stood out in the weight room. I mean you know just by his build he carries his weight really really well. You know the other day I was looking thinking okay he's probably he's probably 230, 235, and, and actually, what do you weigh, Tomate? 265? 258. You know, 260, 258. Yeah, right, yeah we'll, we'll round it up 260. Uh, but he carries his weight real good. You know, he's one of our stronger kids in the weight room, uh, moves really well. Uh, you know, has a lot of you got great hands. You know what you got to have great hands a defensive tackle. You know, get get on and get off blocks. And and like I said earlier, you know he's he's uh, he's more than just a space eater. He's not just trying to main, you know occupy a blocker and let somebody else go make a play. He he goes and makes plays. But but I will agree with his mother. He is a big baby. And uh, <laughs> but we're we're glad he's our big baby. We're glad he's with us. That's great. That's great. I know this is a radio show, so nobody can see. But 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 Tamati's got a huge smile right now. He love he loves <laughs> So somebody, somebody, he's not mad about somebody calling him a big baby. He's loving that. That's great. That's great. So, somebody, tell me, tell me a little bit about defense. Now, tell me this: Did anybody take your size and ever say, "Man, this guy would be great on the offensive line"? You ever play on the other side of the ball? Because he does say that a lot. <laughs> okay. All right. What 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 do you think about that? What's what's been your reaction? I don't like it. You don't like I, it. I'd rather like to catch the ball than block. All right. Okay. All right. So you so you 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 think if you're gonna play offense, put you out wide unless you run receiver then, right? <laughs> Coach, has he got the speed for that? Well the play clock would expire before we we got in a route. But no, I tell you, you know, we have used Tamade some on offense and then you know, I know his love is defense, but you know, he's he's a guy that if we asked him to play offense, there's no doubt in my mind he would come over and give it give it his best effort uh in playing and, and also what people don't understand, you know, Tamada, he's he's probably one of our best rappers on the team. He uh uh oh, well, we don't get the microphone. He's, he's one of our best, so uh, you know he's a talented guy, a uh, fun guy to be around, and uh, and, and we, like I said, we're we're just glad he's on our team. No doubt about it. Absolutely, mm -hmm. love to hear it. So, tell me a little bit about Tamati off the field. What do you what do you like to do when you're not playing football? Play the game. And go to Junior Elks meeting. Okay, all right. So we play the game. What game? Two K Madden sports games. Any of them. Uh. I play FIFA a little bit, Madden. Two K. Okay. All right. What when you're playing when you're playing Madden? What team are you? The Chiefs. The Chiefs. All right. Okay. Who's your favorite player? Isaiah Pacheco. All right. Okay. Well, tell me why. What what is it you like about? 
hard working. He 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 wasn't the starter at first, but hard working pays off. All right, that, that, and that kind of mirrors your story that you told me a little bit. You know, came in weren't, weren't the starter for a couple of years, and then worked your way in there. Tell me, tell me something about what what you know. You've talked. You've talked about being in the weight room. Coaches talked about working with you. When you when you talk about hard work, tell me what that means to you. It really means a lot. Uh, when when coaches say stuff good about you, it make your day. Oh, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. The the rewards are fantastic, aren't they? Yes, sir. Absolutely, absolutely. And I love I love to to see like I, like we talked about. I love to see the interaction with you and coach. Coach giving you a hard time a little bit, but you you take it well with that big smile. The guy's got a huge, great <laughs> smile. I love to see that, and um, and, and love to be able to see the understanding that that you know that it's it's all in love. They're not they're not giving you a hard time because they they don't love you. It's it's out of love. Um, tell me a little bit about that. Tell me tell me about the camaraderie you have with your teammates and your coaches. Um, you got some close friendships. Yes, sir. I got a lot of close friendships on this team. And how does that? I mean, how does that play into those Friday nights where you're getting after it and you, you've got your friends around you? Tell me a little bit about that. When I'm not playing good, they'll get on me. They'll get me right. The coaches don't got to do it. They'll do it. All right. And you got to love a player led team. Uh, that, that's that's really good when you've got player leadership on the field. Um, Tell me, tell me a little bit about what that looks like, man. Uh, what it look like when your when your friends get on you? What? It, tell me what. Tell me how that what that how that plays out. Cussing. Uh-oh. Hurry. <laughs> we don't want to say that. <laughs> but it, it, again, it's it's because they know you can. They know you can respond. They yes, know sir. that you're gonna get it right. They know that the next the next the next play. You're not gonna make the same mistakes, right? Well, it's like you said. You know, when when you have a player led team, uh, man, that's you know they take care of a lot of things that coaches don't have to. And we, we you know we we don't have a gr- large group of seniors, but we got some seniors that are that are outstanding. They're they're really good players. They're they're even better people. Uh, you know, and one thing we want we want to do is you know is is create a, a culture where. Uh, you know, accountability where our, you know, where it's not the coach's jobs all the time to hold the kids accountable. The, the guys hold each other accountable. You know, for, you know, what's amazing, you know, when I first got, we, we had an issue with people missing practice. Uh, Tomorrow, if you remember, you on Fridays during off season, we'd had 20 people miss on Fridays. You know, put a four day work week in. I thought they, I guess they thought they were on a different schedule than everybody else. <laughs> but, uh, you know, now we, we don't have an issue at all. I mean, you know, we, we've not had a, a two deep guy miss practice and uh, going on a month. Now, uh, you know, and, and the ones that do, we know, you know, we, we, we there's no question where those guys are at, and that, that they are, you know, not able to be there. But uh, you know, when when the, when the guys hold each other accountable, and uh, you know, we want encouragement. We don't we don't want any cursing out there to my day, but uh, <laughs> but you know, it's uh, but I also understand, you know, in the heat of the battle, sometimes things things get hot. And uh, but you know, I think if our kids hold each other accountable and encourage each other, then, then we're on our way to to develop the culture that we want. Excellent. Love to hear that. Love to hear that. Okay, now I asked you a little bit off air, but I'm gonna get you now. What are your, your tomate? That's a mouthful. What do your friends call you when they when they want to get your attention quick? Mate or Mate. my middle name, Shemite. Shemite. Okay. All right. Mate. I think that's what I'd go with. That that, that works. Yes, that works. Well, once again, let me say congratulations, Tamade White or Mate. Thank you. Defensive tackle for the El Dorado Wildcats for being named the Jason Hardy State Farm Player of the week congratulations for that uh, i know you're looking forward to to getting back out there and, and getting that home game against marion um and, and best of luck to you the rest of the way thank you congratulations again